In the exciting world of the NFL, every team, including the Carolina Panthers, who made a bold move by parting ways with their head coach after a tough 1-10 start, set their sights on one ultimate goal in the 2023 regular season winning the Super Bowl. However, as simple as that goal may sound, the journey to Super Bowl victory is far from easy, especially in today's competitive NFL landscape. In this video, we'll explore why winning in today's league is a monumental challenge. Numerous variables and moving pieces must align perfectly for a team to secure even a single win, let alone achieve double-digit victories in a regular season. Consider the pressure-packed playoff scenario where a receiver dropping a pass or an offensive lineman mistiming a snap count can instantly derail a team's championship dreams. Today, we'll delve into several angles, including financial considerations, roster talent, and more. The path to victory is laden with challenges, and it's time to unravel them in this engaging exploration. Our journey begins by dissecting various situations across the league, starting with the San Francisco 49ers. When the 49ers hit their stride, they seem almost unbeatable, except for a three-game hiccup between weeks six through eight. Despite their prowess, it feels like this season is a make-it-or-break-it moment for them. Achieving a championship involves many factors, and one crucial aspect is health. The youth of key players, such as star running back Christian McCaffrey, adds another layer of complexity. At 27 years old, turning 28 next July, CMC's age in the NFL landscape raises questions about how much longer he can maintain his elite performance given the wear and tear on his body. Youth plays a pivotal role, especially considering that Trent Williams, a cornerstone of the 49ers at 35, will turn 36 next July. The decline for these stellar players might be nearer than expected, emphasizing the delicate balance teams like the 49ers must navigate. Their stacked roster is a significant advantage, but it also comes with the challenge of managing aging stars. Notably, the 49ers have a considerable benefit over other top teams like the Chiefs, Bills, Eagles, and Cowboys. They don't have to allocate a massive chunk of their budget to a quarterback earning over $45 million per year. This financial flexibility allows them to invest in other key positions, enhancing their overall team strength. However, this advantage is like a ticking time bomb, as eventually, they will need to pay their young quarterback top dollar. In today's NFL, winning is a race against time, capitalizing on the window while a talented young quarterback remains on a team-friendly deal. The challenge is to achieve greatness before the inevitable financial reckoning arrives. Stay tuned as we unravel more insights into why winning in today's NFL is an intricate dance of talent, strategy, and financial prowess. Let's dive into the details. Now let's dive into another aspect concerning the San Francisco 49ers, particularly regarding Christian McCaffrey, CMC, and Trent Williams. If the 49ers don't clinch the Super Bowl title this year, we might witness just one more good year from each of them. While we all hope CMC defies the odds and enjoys another five healthy and outstanding years, the reality is, in today's NFL, longevity is a scarce commodity. In the aftermath of potential decline or injury, 49ers general manager John Lynch would be on the lookout for the next cost-effective replacement. This underscores the constant struggle teams face, choosing between a rookie player earning $2 or $3 million per year and an aging veteran one snap away from a season-ending injury that could cost $25 or $30 million annually. The rookies aren't immune to injuries. The financial impact of losing a lower-paid player is considerably lighter than losing a high-priced veteran. This dynamic becomes even more crucial when considering quarterbacks, who often carry hefty contracts. Despite having faith in the 49ers' leadership, it feels like a now-or-never situation for them. Failing to secure the Super Bowl victory this year might cast a lingering cloud over the team, suggesting they're good but not championship material. Consistent playoff appearances are commendable, but the ultimate goal is hoisting the Super Bowl trophy. Shifting our focus to the Buffalo Bills, their recent journey epitomizes the challenges of achieving sustained success in the NFL. Despite a heartbreaking loss in the 2021 season, they bounced back in 2022 with an improved record of 13-3. However, their current 6-6 standing raises questions about their championship aspirations. The 2023 season outlook suggests that making noise in the postseason is feasible, but the daunting task of winning three consecutive road games to reach the Super Bowl, especially in the competitive AFC, seems nearly insurmountable. Several frustrating losses, like the ones against Denver, the Patriots, and the Jets, have altered the narrative for the Bills. Talent-wise, they are better than their current record reflects, but the fine margins between winning and losing in the NFL are evident in these close games. 
As the season unfolds, there will be a dedicated video exploring the future of the Buffalo Bills, contemplating the challenges they face and what lies ahead for a team with more questions than answers. Join us as we unravel the intricate stories behind these teams, showcasing the delicate balance between talent, strategy, and the unpredictable nature of the NFL. Let's explore the paths these teams navigate on their quest for football glory. As we continue to dissect the challenges faced by NFL teams, let's turn our attention back to the Buffalo Bills. While they undeniably possess playoff caliber potential, there's a looming possibility that they might miss the playoffs altogether. This brings us back to the core question, why is winning in today's NFL such an elusive feat? Looking at the Bills' situation, both safeties Micah Hyde and Jordan Pyre may depart in the upcoming offseason. From a strictly football standpoint, dealing with Von Miller's $23.8 million cap hit next year, combined with him being 35 years old, poses a significant roster-building challenge. The Bills are essentially stuck with him, as cutting him would cost a staggering $32 million. This predicament highlights the critical nature of consistently successful draft picks. Unfortunately, the Bills' 2022 first-rounder, Keir Ellum, has been a disappointment, labeled as a bust and frequently benched in 2023. Gabe Davis, expected to step up as a number two receiver, hasn't quite fulfilled that role. In today's NFL landscape, when you believe you're on the brink of greatness for the next four or five years, it's practically a different lifetime in the fast-evolving league. The Bills face the challenge of resetting their roster at numerous positions in the upcoming offseason to infuse youth. While it's premature to rule them out for 2024, a full offseason away, replacing eight or nine positions in one offseason and winning the Super Bowl is a monumental task. Buffalo finds itself in a perplexing position from a roster-building perspective, a good team that showcases moments of brilliance yet struggles to maintain consistency. Reflecting on their journey from a preseason Super Bowl pick to the current state, the Bills' outlook is less rosy than anticipated just 15 months ago. Their performance swings between displaying championship-caliber prowess and struggling to find their footing, presenting a complex puzzle for the franchise. Shifting gears to Pittsburgh, the Steelers find themselves in a challenging situation, particularly at the quarterback position. With 25 games into Kenny Pickett's career, his 13 ditch downs and 13 interceptions raise questions about his long-term viability. While it's true that Matt Canada's coaching may have impacted Pickett's performance, there are instances where he misses crucial reads or makes questionable throws. The Steelers face a dilemma, stick with Pickett and hope for improvement or explore other options for the future. Defensive stalwarts like TJ, Watt, Cameron Hayward, Minka Fitzpatrick, and Alex Highsmith understand the urgency of winning now. Watt, in his seventh season at 29 years old, has yet to taste playoff success, and time is running out for these elite players. As we navigate the intricate landscapes of Buffalo and Pittsburgh, the challenges underscore the constant balancing act teams face in the dynamic world of the NFL. Join us as we delve deeper into the complexities of roster management, the quest for the right quarterback, and the aspirations of teams aiming for football glory. As we wrap up our exploration into the challenges facing NFL teams, let's ponder a critical question for the Pittsburgh Steelers. If you were Omar Khan, the Steelers' GM, would you consider parting ways with Kenny Pickett? Is it time to explore trading multiple first-round picks for a more seasoned quarterback? And if so, who would be the ideal candidate? While the Steelers currently boast a winning record and have the potential to reach nine wins this season, the overall direction of the team seems uncertain. Head coach Mike Tomlin emphasizes the standard of excellence, but the Steelers find themselves in a precarious position, neither dominating nor at the bottom of the league. This no-man's land is far from an ideal place, as they consistently outperform the worst teams but struggle against true contenders. Acknowledging their challenges, it's challenging to envision the Steelers as Super Bowl contenders in the next few years. The business side of the NFL looms large, with players vying for lucrative second contracts that often surpass their initial draft earnings. This financial reality is a significant factor in why winning in today's NFL is an uphill battle. Reflecting on recent draft classes, the rapid progression from rookies to free agents or contract extensions is a testament to the evolving landscape. Players like Justin Jefferson and C.D. Lamb, drafted in 2020, are now on the cusp of significant paydays. The contract discussions, although part of the game, take a toll on players who, just months ago, were celebrating individual accolades like Offensive Player of the Year. Contrasting the historic dominance of teams like the Patriots, Cowboys, 49ers, and Steelers with recent trends, achieving sustained success seems increasingly elusive. 
The Kansas City Chiefs, winners of two Super Bowls in the past four years, showcase the turnover in NFL rosters. Only 13 players from their first Super Bowl victory over the 49ers remain on the roster for the win against the Eagles just three years later. In today's NFL, winning a Super Bowl requires a perfect storm, a stellar coaching staff, a cohesive team, and perhaps young players on rookie contracts outperforming expectations. It's an almost insurmountable task, making any team that achieves it truly deserving of a grand celebration. I hope you found today's video insightful. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, as it greatly contributes to our growth. Until next time, stay safe and have a fantastic day. Your support means a lot, thank you.